Hello, this is Jamie with PuppyLovesMe.net. Today we're going to read The Berenstain Bears, God Bless Our Home. So sit back and get comfy. Let's begin. The rain came down, the streams rose, and the winds blew and beat against that house. Yet it did not fall, because it had its foundation on the rock. Matthew seven twenty-five. The Bear family, who lived down a sunny dirt road, deep in Bear Country, loved their treehouse home. They lived inside a great hollow old oak tree. They moved there when Brother Bear was little from a cave way up in the mountains. That was before Honey or Sister Bear were even born. The first thing that Mama Bear did when they moved into their new home was hang a framed sampler on the wall. It said, God bless our home. That's just what we need, said Papa. God's blessings will make our new tree house into a happy home. At first, the tree house had just a living room with a kitchen downstairs and two bedrooms upstairs. When sister was born, she shared a bedroom with brother. There was an attic nestled in the tree's thick upper branches, too. But the attic soon filled up with all the bear's extra stuff. Their chest of old clothes, unused baby carriages, and an old-fashioned record players and radios. The treehouse quickly started to seem a little cramped for a growing family, but then Papa set to work. First, Papa dug a basement among the oak tree's great roots. That gave them plenty of room to store all their things. Later, he built a garage for their car right next to the house. But Papa soon began to use the garage for his workshop and began parking the car in the driveway again. All in all, the tree house was a fine place to live. The thick wood of the tree trunk kept them warm in the winter. The spreading oak leaves above kept the house shady and cool in the summer. Brother and sister loved to lie in bed in the evening and fall asleep to the sound of crickets and katydids in the branches outside. In the morning, they woke to the sound of a mockingbird singing his copycat song at their open window. The bear's treehouse made a home for other creatures, too. A woodchuck dug his barrow beneath or under the front steps. A family of chipmunks made their home in the woodpile. A pair of sparrows nestled in the treehouse or birdhouse out back, and swallows built their nest of mud in the rafters of the garage. Papa had to duck when the swallows came swooping in to feed their babies. But he didn't mind. As the good book says, Papa explained, even the sparrows has found a home and the swallow a nest for herself. The bear family was very happy in their tree house. It's true, it was a little small, and when baby honey came along, it suddenly seemed even smaller. At first, Mama and Papa just put Honey's crib in their room alongside their bed. That was okay, while she was very small. Honey needed to be near them anyway. But when Honey started to grow, it wasn't so fine. She started climbing out of her crib in the middle of the night and crawling into bed with Mama and Papa. She would sleep between them sideways and kick them in the stomach. Mama and Papa weren't getting enough sleep. One morning at breakfast, a sleepy papa said to a sleepy mama, you know, maybe it's time we thought about moving to a bigger house. Hmm, said mama half asleep. Maybe you're right. But brother and sister overheard them. Move to a bigger house, they said. 
No way. We love our tree house. We love it too, said Mama. But my, I'm afraid it's getting too small for our growing family. Honey re really needs a room of her own. And there's no garage for our car, added Papa. I have been parking in the driveway for years now. When it snows, I have to shovel it out every time. But there must be a way to make more room and keep living right here, said Brother. Yes, agreed Sister. We just need to put on our thinking caps. Maybe you're right, said Papa. We probably could make more room somewhere. Let's look things over and see, suggested Mama. So the family took a tour of the treehouse, inside and out, looking into every room, poking into every nook and peering into every cranny. Papa got out his tape measure and made some notes. The family finished touring up in the attic. The bears found a lot of things up there they hadn't seen in years. Look, said Mama, here's my old trumpet from the Bear Country High School marching band. She put it to her lips and blew a few notes. I wonder if I can still play Carnival of Venice. She tried it out. Brother and sister put their hands over their ears. Mama, they said, please. I think I know what to do, said Papa, as they trooped down from the attic. I can enlarge the basement and move some things down there from the attic. Then I can divide off part of the attic into a little room for honey. That would work nicely, said Mama, but what about the car? Simple, said Papa. I'll just build a shed onto the side of the garage and park it in there. That will keep the car out of the snow. Yay, yelled the cubs. We can stay in our tree house. God bless our home. The next day, with the cubs' help, Papa set to work. They dug and carried and sawed and hammered, sanded, plastered, painted, and cleaned like a family of busy beavers. Finally, after many days of hard work, it was all finished. Honey had a room of her own, and the family car had a place to sleep at night, too. You know, said Papa, as he looked over their brand new old home, this isn't a bad place at that. Not bad, said the cubs. It's the best little place in the whole wide world. Yes, said Mama, and above all, it is our own home sweet home. She pointed to the old frame sampler on the wall. May God always bless our happy home. The end. Have a blessed day.